Hey guys, my name is Simsy, and welcome back to some more Total War Attila. We're playing as the Western Roman Empire, so we have some very exciting stuff to go through. We finally are going on the offensive. We're finally conquering some new lands. Now, as you see here, we currently have three full legions. I want to try take um, the region of Palestine. We're probably going to be doing that in today's episode, but we're going to explain... Um, why that is in a minute, but I just want to quickly recap what you guys have missed, because in the last episode, we didn't have a battle, and that was because I had so much diplomacy to get through, and now, uh, with my emp my empire is just so hu huge, and I spent probably three, four hours, because nothing actually had, there was no battles, um, I will explain why no one's attacking me as well, but basically, now, my public order is, is, awesome. Um, as you see, yeah, it's going up immensely. So I've finally gone through and fixed it, building chapels and stuff. So what we're doing at the moment is we're trying to go for our victory conditions. Um, so I have three stacks pushing over. I just want to show you where all my other armies are. So I have an army to the north, um, which is kind of just defending. I also have an army over here because um, I'm trying to repopulate some of the settlements here. I'm slowly converting um, and taking, but it costs between 8,000 and 14,000 to reclaim one settlement. And obviously you have to wait for the populace to surplus so you can start deleting buildings. So this is actually a really long process. I don't regret doing it because now I'd rather be at this point in time where I have to spend more money than being constantly attacked by the, the Scandinavian factions and the Germanic Factions. So I've got one army in the north protecting my lands as well. A full stack here, uh, which is protecting the eastern, and then I have a uh, half a stack. So I've got two full stacks protecting the northern goal and the eastern part, and then I've got like half stacks here. I'm not planning on um, making them any bigger. These are kind of just like action forces. See, as you see, you have three lots of spearmen, three lots of swordsmen, three lots of archers, and two lots of cavalry. The same in that. But, um, as you see here, something's a little bit different. We've taken Eblania off the Jutes and the, um, the settlement off the Picts. Because I was trying to clean up some of the the rebels through my lands. Um, the, um, not rebels, some, like, horde factions. Um, and it was the Danish separatists here. There was a couple of little ones, but there was, there was like, no point of playing them because they had suffered uh, attrition. <laughs> so they were really quite weak. Um, we attacked the Danes here. Now, because in doing that, um, the Picts and the Jutes declined to come on my side because I was going to actually retake those provinces. I was probably going to declare war on them because I did subjugate them. And uh, then we ended up taking them. So now we're, we're pretty strong here. So um, that's basically what's happened. Um, we're making 10,000 turn turn. I haven't spent money for quite a while because I am invading the Middle East. Now, looking at our diplomacy, this will explain why we're going for that part of Palestine. Um, and hopefully we can try to take Syria as well. So we currently have a military alliance with Britain. We've actually taken most of our former lands. So Britain isn't too happy with us. They are improving, but we've actually been able to take a pretty big chunk of our former lands back because Britain, obviously, um, they had the entirety of the island and then it was there was a rebellion. Um, no, it was the Jutes who took Ireland and then that they sacked Wales and liberated them and then they liberated the Picts and then it just... Uh, they were under the pump. Dacia uh, has lost a couple of their settlements. The Gamantians still have a fairly... A big chunk of northern Africa. The Gatulians here. And the Eastern Roman Empire holds southern Greece. And um, the island of Crete. Before invading, I actually disembarked here and had wine <laughs> with the the uh, the Eastern Roman Empire. And then we pivoted because we're going to push on Palestine now. Right. Okay. I've got to explain some stuff. We're still currently at war with the Sassanids and all their vassals and the... Um, Eastern Roman separatists. Now, I haven't been attacked once on my mainland by Sassanid forces. And why this is because, I'll show you now from the border. Now, um, yeah, the Gepids, um, are they my subjugate? Yeah, we subjugated them, right. We subjugated them as well. I forgot to mention them. Um, the Geats lost most of their northern provinces. They they did have, um, can you guys remember that? Uh, they had uh, Petra Dova. And uh, Leopolis, the Huns destroyed them, and now they've pushed even further south. So, okay, I'll quickly explain the Sassanids. Now, I don't know if you can see here, but I will, I'm moving my spy down there to show you. The Eastern Roman Separatists have at least six or five stacks blocking Constantinopolis, and they have Nicomedia. 
and also this part of Asia Minor isn't populated. So the Sassanids can't go through this path. They couldn't go north because um, they're going to suffer way too much attrition. Now, they do have this kind of thing of Asia Minor here, but they can't get through because um, the Eastern Roman Empire, they've actually pushed up a little bit north here, but they've had ships and fleets have just been smashing it. They can't push through northern Africa because they're at war with the Axum. So I've been extremely lucky because they haven't been able to push against me. They've been fighting against the Eastern Roman separatists, the Eastern Roman Empire, and the Axum. Now, we've got to go back to Axum in a minute because these guys are a huge faction here who are both at war with the Sassanids. They were at war with the Gamantians, but they're not anymore. Right, okay, so let's go on to our invasion. Now, um, the whole reason because of it. Um, had a lot of explaining to do there. I like I like recapping that so you guys know what is going on. There's the trade rights if you want to have a look at this. We're getting like nearly 20,000 per turn because of the amount of products we're producing. Right, um, objectives. For this campaign, I would like to hit the military victory and the culture victory. Once we hit that, I might end the campaign. I don't know if I, if you guys want to see a divine triumphant, but um, military wise, we've hit the um, the date. We still need 110 settlements. We currently control 82. We've hit everything except for buildings, uh, veteran garrison quarters, infantry compound, and just a couple other things. That's fine. We just need more provinces. And the only way, if you look on the map, to do that is I'll go with attitude. Now, I've sp where is attitude, or diplomacy, I guess it's in. I have tried to take some provinces back, but I feel like the only way we can hit the victory conditions is actually try and um, take some lands in Syria. Now, the people I am attacking here aren't actually the Sassanids. They're going to be Roman separatists and um, Judea. Um, but maybe if I get some more money, I'll slowly start getting it. We just need to hit the... The territories more than anything, because I burnt <laughs> most of Germany and all these, um, all this area here, um, Scandinavia, and what really is left for the rebels. I could take a couple of these territories here, but they're pretty far north, and they don't have very good um, fertility. Right. So in today's episode, we're going to be attacking these two territories, and we're going to be attacking Palestine. So once we have um, a foothold here. We could push up and try take these provinces because we can convert here quite quickly, and it's also got some good resources here, um, as you see there, the cross, and then they have a a gem mine, and that means I'm occupying. Um, I don't occupy all of them. I think there might be four in the game. I'm definitely occupying one in the north, of course. The Gatulians occupying the second, but I'll definitely have the third. And we're going to have so much money. And hopefully during this battle we can have um, get some better trade rights with the Axum, who currently have three full stacks here. I haven't been at war with them ever, but um, if I attack these guys, they should be um, brought into the, the, the battle. So what I'm going to do here is... I wonder if I can attack a different direction. Because I can definitely drag one of the armies in. So we're going to attack now. This army has three lots of heavy onigas. Why can't they attack? One army should be able to attack. And I'll go through the family tree of who is actually disembarking here. Oh no, Vettius can get there. Right, as you see here, we got two stacks of Axum coming to help us. So that will um, sweeten the odds just that little bit more. This is going to be a massive battle. Right, we're going to continue the siege. I wonder if I could double time to get another host in. He's stuck on Force March now. Right, okay, let's have a look at our family tree because it's just crazy. I'm going to stick to the legitimate claimants to the throne. Right, okay, we have Flavius Honorus Augustus, who has his son Grat. Um, he is now currently the Emperor, who now has his son, Maximinimus, his second son, Sextus. He has a legitimate daughter and a bastard daughter who was married off. Right, the second son of Flavius Honorus. There's Verus, he's got a couple of children as well, got a son. And then there's Vettius here, who was the heir until the son came of age, and he's got a bastard who has bastards and quite a few 
sons that need to be married off at some stage. But it looks like the line of succession is going to be good. Um, now, he is married to an African, so he is half Getulian, so he has a claim to those gems in Africa, I guess. And um, I was trying to breed out of the family, but the only princess that was nearby was a Getulian one, and she was absolutely fantastic. I think I could have married him to a 60-year-old British woman, <laughs> which uh, probably wouldn't be the best thing. Obviously, now we've got um, Sextus Perinius, uh, sorry, Flavius Stilicho's bastard, and his family trees is going crazy. Sextus Perinius is married to Flavius Stilicho's daughter, so the family tree is quite massive. I think we should really focus on his. Right, okay, let's play the battle in today's episode. We haven't had a battle in a while. Looking at the army, it's not the best. The garrison reinforcements are quite weakened, but like I said, we get to fight with the Axum. And we really could just sit back and let my Onigas do most of the work if we really wanted to. But we're going to fight the battle. We're going to take these three territories quite quickly. And when we take the entire region, we're going to put a governor. Having that um, food plus public order, we're going to be able to convert this place um, really quite quickly. They have a lot of cavalry in that army. We should be able to combat that with my uh, siege equipment. But we're finally going on the offensive, so I kind of would want peace with the Sassanids, but in saying that, I don't know how else we're going to uh, to do it. And I guess we could kind of hold them here, and this can be our pivot into the Middle East, holding Syria and Palestine. If we attack Palestine, we will be going to war with one of their vassals. Right, okay, Onigas, I want you to go as close up as possible. Um, however... I want to get rid of that tower as quickly as possible. Um, where are their reinforcements coming? So, their, some reinforcements are coming from this side. Good, we're actually going to be naturally surrounding them by deploying against them. Um, I want my cavalry. I just want to think what's the best place to deploy here. So, we'll go with half my army here. We can send an army. Where can we send this army? Because this is a Middle Eastern settlement. I haven't played against one of these. I thought you'd, you'd think you'd be able to go through there. So I want four units to go through here. I would imagine, because this is the, the straight to the town square, the majority of their units are going to be here. So I'm going to put um, my infantry here, just in case there's a cavalry charge. Oh, there will be a cavalry charge, won't they? Right, I'm going to put these guys on defensive testudo then, because they're going to try pepper me with that tower. Archers. We'll sit back here. We'll go with a uh, heavy shot. The rest of the swordsmen that weren't in that army are going to flank around to this other side. Not too much out of the way, but on this side so we can get a flanking maneuver, like I said. Um, we'll just hold them there for the moment. Cavalry. We'll sit in the middle to combat with anyone coming out. Uh, we do have a lot of cavalry here. We do have skirmishes. I'm trying to think where else to deploy them. I think just in the middle is probably the best place for them. Oh, I've got my general in there. That's why. I keep on forgetting that I have my general unit as a cavalry unit. Vetius here. Right, we'll deploy you here, I guess. Right, let's start the battle. Um, Onigas should be on flammable rounds. I want you to try hit these guys as much as possible. Um, as well, hit that. What are they deploying here? Cavalry, yet yeah, we're going to push in and attack them. I might actually try to get some shots off with these ballista. Because we're going to take out a fair few. These ballista are just awesome. I can't tell if they're actually killing people. Oh yeah, they are. They've got their onigas we have to deal with. I forgot about them. Where are those onigas on these sides? Well, the reinforcements are coming in. Um, I want my onigas to... Well, hit their onigas there, I guess. I actually lost them there. Oh, they're actually hitting me quite heavily. Um, right, I'm going to get my... units here to engage them. They're just sitting cavalry here, which I think is quite stupid. Right, we're going to de deploy two over here. Everyone else is going to continue to push up. Can we actually attack from that side? No, so we're going to have to go through this side here, roughly. Right, get everyone to break these sword units. 
My onigas are trying to get rid of theirs. We got one. I don't know if we're going to be able to shoot over them. We can just. I really like these ballista. I have to pull pretty far up though, because I think we're hitting our own troops if we're not careful. We're still taking a lot of their cavalry out. And it's quick as well, so... Right, okay, we've broken through here. Need to get rid of their swordsmen. Right, my onigas can hit theirs now, or hit the... in there, that cluster. Right, cavalry's flanking. I'm going to send some of my cavalry to deal with that. What abilities can we use? Nothing much. I really wish we could have deployed with the other army. Because they have heavy onigas. Alright, we're taking the tower. Just taking a while for everyone to get in here, of course. Understandable. I'm going to get my... Blister to hit this cavalry unit here. We should be able to hit it. My cavalry's here now. Come on, get in there. I just need to watch out. Oh, I overshot it. But we're in, so it doesn't matter. Get them to halt. Right, we're going to flank from the side here. We've taken their onigas. Axum are coming in with their units. We're like natural friends. <laughs> Why are you pissed with me? Well, this will help our relations quite heavily. Oh, no. My onigas here are hitting quite low. Right. My cavalry has got rid of them. We need to get rid of those. Catapults. And I've got other units flanking. Do I have any of my other units nearby? I'm going to send these two lots of cavalry. I'm going to flank them. And I want them to go and hit the, uh, the town square. Hopefully we can take it. I'm going to control the onigas for a little bit. That was a little bit wayward. But I also don't want to hit my own troops. I think that is going to be... Yeah, that's going to hit my own troops. Bang on. Oh, no. Right, I'm going to halt with that. <laughs> Looks like my army has finally got, a got here. Um... I guess just send my cavalry on that side in. Alright, hit these guys from behind. Yeah. There's no point in getting my onigas to hit them. All my cavalry, though, can come in and take the town square. I'm going to get my emperor to halt, though. Axum are moving in their cavalry. And their general. We should be able to break them quite quickly, hopefully. I'm going to move my general up. Um, spotting. See if I can use some bonuses. But my cavalry and swordsmen from the main army and the reinforced one have arrived. And now we're officially taking the town square. But this is a, a massive cluster. <laughs> right, I'm going to send those two swords units that have arrived. My cavalry is obviously taking it, so. But this is just... 
a cluster, isn't it? Holy shit. Thank God none of my artillery's in there. My artillery's pretty far away. Imagine slugging that across the battlefield. But they are still holding on quite valiantly. I never got to do that bonus. There we go. Try to kill their general then, I guess. But looking at the odds, we deployed 8,700. We still have 7,700. How is my general under attack? Ah, oh, probably from those towers. We can fall him out now. I'll leave my cavalry on this side. Whether or not I run them down or not. We'll get my general to run down these guys. The crossbow unit that still is in the game for some reason, but we've won anyway. Continue to run these guys down. Probably in our best interest. The less we have to face, because there's still a fair few in there. But we have taken the town square. We've taken the settlement with Axum. They've helped us quite well. I'll be interested to see how many men they lost. Because they did throw in a fair few in there. Not going to lie. But let's end the battle there. A decisive victory. We deployed 5,000 exactly. We lost 776. Uh, Axum deployed 3,720. They lost 200 troops. The enemy deployed 2,000. So that's not too bad. Seeing they had a fair amount of onigas. But I'm hoping this improves relations with Axum. Because I don't particularly want to go to war with them. But if we do, it won't be the uh, the end of the world. I don't think I even lost any units with that second army. But a decisive victory. And we are going to... Huh. Do we loot and occupy or do we just occupy? I think I'm just going to occupy. We get more of a replenishment. And we've taken our first settlement in uh, in Palestine. So we're going to push against the second army. There's a full stack there, I do believe. And we're going to take um, Judea. And this can be our pivotal to the east because there are a fair few other factions. Well, we could take Syria, which is not under the command of the Assassins. But they do have a fair amount of armies here, which we're probably going to push back. Because I was really close to making peace with them for once because it was, they had a really good general. Um... Sorry, the faction leader had a trait which was admire good empires, and we got all the way back down to neutral, because I did have peace with them um, about, was it roughly about seven episodes ago, and then they just declared war on me, so, yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching, if you watched it all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Remember to leave a like to support this series and my channel. We've got a lot more exciting things to come. We're pushing into the Middle East, um, firstly, to tank Palestine. Whether or not we declare war on the Axum, we might be able to get better relations. So, if we get military alliance with them, um, that adds to my victory conditions, of course. Um, we might be fighting the Sassanids, and with the leftover money we get, we're going to be hopefully recolonizing Scandinavia and northern Germany. But I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you already haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.